A big breakthrough out of New Haven. Researchers at Yale developed a saliva-based COVID-19 test, and today the U.S. Food and Drug Administration gave the test emergency approval. Joining us right now is Dr. Chantal Vogels, one of the researchers at the Yale School of Public Health. Doctor, thank you for joining us tonight. No can, problem. Can you tell us about this COVID-19 saliva test? How long did it take to develop? So it took us a couple of months to develop the Saliva Direct. Um, and we're really happy that now the FDA issued emergency use authorization, because that really means that the, the clinical labs, the CLIA certified labs can start using it to test. How long, it, you said it took a few months to develop, how quickly can people get the results? So for us, it takes about three hours to test 92 samples. Wow, that's quick compared to uh, the, the swab test. How long does that take? That takes a little bit longer, and that's mainly because there's an extraction step. So you extract the genetic material from the virus, and that you then test with a polymerase chain reaction test, the so-called PCR test. We are still using this PCR test, um, but we found a way to skip the extraction step. So we're just simply treating the saliva with an enzyme and with a heating step, and that proved to be sufficient for accurate testing. Dr. Vogels, so how do you collect the uh, saliva direct, and what kind of vessel do you put it in for safe storage prior to going to the lab? So saliva can be collected in any sort of sterile container or tube, and you essentially just pull saliva in your mouth, and then you gently expel it into the cup or into the tube. And then these samples, um, if that thing is going to be done like within a couple of hours, they can be stored uh, in the fridge. And otherwise, for long-term storage, they, they will be stored at minus 80. Wow. You've got to be excited about this, this advancement. What other future ideas will this uh, hold? Where, what else can this do going this route? Yes, we are very excited about this. So there's a couple of advantages for our tests. Um, so one, we use saliva instead of the swab, which is safer and it's also um, more comfortable because the swab goes very deep into your nose and it's just an unpleasant experience. Uh, our test is cheaper, which is going to be uh, great to, to increase the testing volume. Um, and overall, it, it's faster. So testing can really be scaled up um, so more tests can be done, and that is really going to help to, you know, ramp up testing. It's going to be more scalable. It's going to be more accessible, and, and we're just really excited about that. And the fact that we need so many millions a day samples, how quickly can this be ramped up? So we have validated Saliva Direct with reagents and instruments from multiple vendors. Um, so really the new thing about our tests is that it's, it's very flexible, so you're not bound to one kit, um, but you can use different reagents and instruments from different vendors. And that creates this flexibility so that if one vendor is running into supply chain issues, then at least you still have some other options that you can use. Well, very exciting. And congratulations to you and your team. Dr. Chantal Vogels, a researcher at Yale uh, School of Public Health, thank you for joining us. Thank you.